What up? It's Snowflake, and I'm gonna do a quick little tutorial here on how to do audio keyframes in Final Cut Pro 7. So audio keyframes are used to um, lower or lower or raise the audio levels, um, and basically you can select a point here and a point there where you want the audio levels like to change. All right, it's really really simple. So I got my audio down here in my sequence, and we're gonna double click on the audio. Or you could hit like F and it brings it up in your viewer. You want to get it in your viewer. And then you notice up here at the top there are these buttons. This button here is for adding a keyframe. So you click it and adds a keyframe. You click it again, it actually deletes that keyframe. Or if you added multiple keyframes and you wanted to get rid of all of them, you can hit this X button and it deletes all of them. And then the last little thing I'm going to show you is the shortcut, uh, which is Command Option K, and that adds a keyframe. Okay. So for this, I'm just gonna do like a, a little fade out, all right, and show you how to do that. Um, but we'll go, we'll go to, let's see, this is about 10 seconds long. We'll go to eight seconds. We're gonna hit F. It's gonna bring us up here. We're gonna add a keyframe. And then I'm gonna go to the end. I'm gonna hit F again, bring it up in the viewer, and add another keyframe. And we're gonna drop the, uh, we're gonna type in here the levels of the audio on this second keyframe. And we're gonna do, let's say, negative 15 and it will just do like a slow little fade out. You see how it goes from this point to here, it just, the audio levels slowly drop. Now that's not, that doesn't drop the audio completely. Um, you could do that, you could go, just bring it down to the bottom and it just does a, a drop off like that. But what I like to do for like a smooth transition when I'm doing the keyframes of audio for like fade outs and stuff, is I'll do this negative 15 and then I'll go into my effects and I'll just add a crossfade. And I, I just found that it gives it like a much more smooth transition out. But anyway, that's how you add keyframes. Um, and you got your keyframe here, and, and then we can... Magical, isn't it? So I hope that was helpful. Um, if it was, make sure to like the video and comment on it, and then subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then check back later for more tutorials and tips on Final Cut Pro 7, Apple Motion Compressor, and DVD Studio Pro.